Hi, this is Jenny from the lab, and on this video I'm going to talk about the male reproductive system. So, let's go! In contrast of most body secretions, the semen doesn't exist within the body before being expelled. So, how is it produced? It all starts at the testes. This is where the sperm cells are created, and if we have a look inside of them, we'll see coil structures called seminiferous tubules. This is where the actual sperm production takes place in. And these developing sperm cells travel through the seminiferous tubules to a network called Rete testis, and then they continue their journey through the efferent duct to the epididymis, where the newly created sperm cells mature. The sperm cells can remain stored and viable in the epididymis for months. And then, during sexual arousal, the peristaltic contractions of the epididymis walls will expel the sperm into the vas deferens. At the end of the vas deferens, and just above the prostate, there's a seminal vesicle. The seminal vesicle originates 60% of the seminal fluid. This fluid consists of nutrients that support sperm under fertilization. Then the sperm with the fluid from the seminal vesicle goes through the jacularity duct to the first portion of the uretra, surrounded by the prostate. The prostate originates 30% of the seminal fluid, and this fluid helps to neutralize the acidity of the vaginal tract, prolonging the lifespan of the sperm. And it also contains enzymes that help sperm go through the cervical mucus. Now the sperm is nearly going to make its way out, but we can see another structure called the bulboretra gland or Cooper's gland. This gland also contributes to the seminal fluid by neutralizing the acidity of the uretra, as urine also goes through here. And this fluid can also lubricate the walls of the uretra, reducing the number of sperm that are damaged during the ejaculation. And now, after all of this long adventure, the sperm cells and the seminal fluid from the different glands are together forming the semen.